Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. If you take the right path after beating this level, you'll go all the way up to the castle, but this is 100% run, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to do 6-6. This is the dark level that I was thinking of before. Um, there's two exits in this one as well. One leads to the cannon warp to a later world, but needless to say, I'm not going to do the cannons either. Um... So, you'll notice that we've got this raft-like thing, which starts moving as soon as you touch it. Now you've got this thing, which you can control with the uh, Wii Remote. It's a two-sided light there. You can see both ways, of course. Uh, a propeller mushroom would really, really help you in this one, but if you don't have it, you're going to have to live with the springboard here. Um, I would like to go up here, because I'm pretty sure coin one is up. No, I, I touched the ceiling and dropped the springboard. Didn't mean to do that. Um, well, it at least landed on top of the uh, raft down there. And there's the first coin, and oh, I didn't mean to drop that, but that was the, like the perfect time for me to drop it. Anyway, it landed right on the edge of the raft. If I wouldn't, I mean, if it wouldn't have did that, it would have went right into the water, and that would also have been the death of my run. Um, I don't... Like, whenever you touch a ceiling and you're holding something over your head, you drop that sort of thing. There's only a few things that don't do that. So, uh, yeah, you get the idea. I'm pretty sure... Ooh, this is kind of dangerous. I'm pretty sure the next coin is inside the water somewhere. At least I remember there to be one there. And I... Wait, wait. Isn't this the Fire Brother parts coming up? No, there's a checkpoint. Not complaining about that. I'm just trying to rem remember where the star coin locations are. And uh, stop dropping the springboard, Mario. Stop. Uh, I keep touching the ceiling with it just a little bit, and that makes me drop it. <laughs> there's another springboard. I don't need the other one now. Well, maybe I should have kept them both just to be safe, you know, to make sure that I had them. Oh, well. Uh, there's a box that probably has a prize for me. Eat. That contains a fire flower. Oh, it's an ice flower. It looks like a fire flower because it uh, glowed red. Uh, there's a bunch of zoo bats. Uh, or perhaps they're gold bats, small gold bats, you never know. Definitely not a crow bat, though. Those are purple. Uh, Peace switch up there. Eh. Uh, do I really want to attempt to get those blue coins? My gut instinct tells me. Maybe. Uh, I I think that was a, I mean, I'm a little bit too late there, but that's all right. Ooh, this is something that I could use. A propeller block. Oh, whoa, 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 I see the next coin. And you're gonna give me trouble, aren't you? Yes, you are gonna give me trouble. Uh, so I can use the springboard or the block to get up here and collect the star coin. That was, that was number three. So I'm missing one somewhere back between the first coin and that one. But, what I can do is get to the secret exit. Oh, shoot, I had to get up there to do it. Uh, unless I can get up there later on, which is going to be a little bit trickier due to the uh, Torkoals. Yes, I said Torkoals. Why am I using so many Pokemon references? Anyway, you go up here, and there's a glowy block here. Grab it, and carefully make your way through this cave. I'm pretty sure there's many dangers to be had through here. Like the wild Zubats. And triple Zubat attack. It's just like the games. They're all over the place. And you'll notice that these are programmed to drop in those pairs that you see on the ceiling, so they're kind of predictable. Just don't uh, plaster your face into them, and you should be fine. And I'll be back through this level anyway for the uh, second star coin, so it's okay that I missed one. And here we go. Is there anything in this block? Uh, there is. Ooh, platforms. I could use that to get to a one-up, like I needed that. Woo! This way. And I'll be back. Okay, so we're back over here by the first star coin. Now, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I've got a fire flower on the raft here, which I think I'll just grab right away. I was going to use it to, uh, like, as a backup or something like that, and... Just in case. Now, what? Now, I, I, I would swear that there's another... I mean, the, the second star coin is down here somewhere. I, I swear, unless I have to go up one of these pipes, which I don't remember having to do. So, I, I, I just want to make sure. Oh, wait, wait. Am I supposed to go up this red pipe? This one seems kind of suspicious. Um, well, I, I'll have to check that on another run, I guess. 
I'm not gonna find the star coin, am I? <laughs> uh, so let's just take a look around just to make sure. Um, well, there's a tr coin trail up there, but I think that was if you slide down it, like a trail like that. Um, I'm gonna stay on the lower path here and just weave my light around and see if I can find something. Hopefully? Maybe? Uh, wait, wait, wait. There it is! Okay, you guys, you have to be up there. And there we go! Woo! So that's the second star coin. Uh, I guess I'll see you over by the exit then. Actually, come to think of it... Oh, I forgot to show you the rest of this part of the level because, you know, I, I went up to the secret exit first, which was that red pipe way up there somewhere. So... Uh, yeah, I gotta show this off. <laughs> I just can't, like, cut all the way to the exit. Come on, that would make me a bad walkthrough. Oh my god, my god, my god, my god! Oh, no! I'm so close. Oh, come on! Okay, so we're back at the Fire Brother part here. Hopefully I'll have a little more success this time. Less emphasis on the suck part of success. Just saying. That was a close one. Power up, power up, power up! Okay, maybe I'll make it this time. Whoa! Fireballs from all angles! This is now turned into a shooter, not a side-scrolling platformer. This could be an issue. Okay, maybe it's not gonna be. Whoa, maybe it is gonna be. Fireball! Fireball! It's Fireball Hopscotch! Or, wait, jump rope, I should say. I should say, excuse me. Uh, well, I made it. And that makes me happy, so that's also the end of the stage, and I can also go to the castle! Yay! Anything? Uh, there's this, and there's this! Okay. So, now there's two paths that you can take to the castle. As I said, there was that pipe path that you can take, but I'm gonna take the bullet path just because it's slightly harder, and it'll make it a little more interesting. So I'm going to make a left here. If you make a right at this junction here, you'll take a hit. Uh, take a hit. You'll take a different path to a cannon and get sh shot out of it, you know, to a later world. So I don't want to do that. And this has got a triple shot cannon here. I'm going to try to avoid them this time just for the fun of it. And I failed. Oh, well. So let's see what's in 6 dash toad balls here. Of course, it's gonna to be Toad Balls, and luckily I'm Big Mario, <coughs> Big Mario here because uh, being next to the edge of the screen like that can be pretty dangerous when it comes to bullets because they just they just kind of like pop out of nowhere, you know, and you don't want to be on that side of the screen where they are when they do it. But luckily, I didn't take a hit, and I made it through safely and unscathed. So, let's go to Morton's castle. Woo! Oh, we get to hear the music! Let the music play, baby! Oh, we've got some rocking horses for some reason. Okay, it more, looks more like a rocking ship of some sort, bobbing up and down. But, you know, it also could be considered a teeter-totter as well. Whatever you want to call them. They rock in and out, and if you touch the lava, you're gonna die. But you might have expected that. So let's try not to touch the lava. This stage isn't that hard at all. At least not that I remember, unless I'm thinking of a DS one. Uh, I don't believe these things are in the DS game. Anyway, you want to go up here for the first star coin, like that. And if you want to, you can fall down onto those platforms, or just run right across. Um, there's some spiky balls that'll also be bothering you on these platforms uh, due to the effects of gravity and the uh, weaving of the platforms themselves or bobbing of the platforms themselves. Like, like you'll see that one will change direction. You gotta kind of try and predict where they're gonna be due to the gravity. Oh, the second part of this area is a bit harder. Um, it's like a trap area of sorts that, yeah, you see how that works? Those arrow blocks down there, they drop down on, like, in periodical occasions, and they plop down those spiky ball things. Uh, I don't know how- why did I do that? <laughs> And we're 
back here already, of course, because that wasn't very far at all since the halfway point. And now you gotta really, really be careful of where you stand. Uh, when those things open up, you're vulnerable for uh, getting a spike ball in the head, or on the head, excuse me. Well, I guess it would be in the head, because, you know, they would probably kind of penetrate your head a little bit, and you wouldn't want that to happen. You know, they're kind of weighty, and yeah, they would use their weight to the, their advantage, and just plop right into your skull, and that would be kind of painful. And that's another thing about this game that I should mention. It is definitely not kid-friendly. There's all sorts of spikes and impaling devices that could kill you, and that's just not kid-friendly at all. I mean, getting bit by a turtle, that's okay. But getting hit by something spiky or chopped to pieces, oh no, that's hardcore and should never be in a kid's game. <sighs> anyway, that's uh, the end of this spike ball section. It's actually not that hard. I just kind of messed up a lot in it. So, let's go to the boss. Oh no, it's getting spooky. Again, dramatic silence. How's it going? Hey, Kemic. Don't you dare sprinkle your magic powder. No! Oh, I seen it coming, but I couldn't stop it. Anyway, now you've got these wobbly things, and whenever he does that ground pound thing, the uh, two platforms next to him uh, go all the way up to the ceiling and will squish you in one hit if you're next to him. I mean, if you're on them. And they touch the ceiling, obviously. This is an incredibly easy boss fight, because he just kind of does his thing there. You just gotta wait for him to do that. And I don't really even shoot him, see him shoot magic blasts at you, so... What's the point of him having a magic wand, anyway? I mean, ah, uh, well, whatever. Okay, you just, uh, just die for me, please. Thank you. And that's the end of the castle. Woohoo! <laughs> And I took a lot of time in that underground dark area thing before. Like my camera says, I'm at 17 minutes and 20 seconds or so. But I know I've got more time in this part. So I'm going to do the next level just for the heck of it. And uh, uh oh, looks like he missed his ride again. You know what this means. Airship level. You know, if you didn't know. <laughs> And magically, there's a, some clouds over there now. Hmm. They weren't there before that I remember. Epic airship music! Go! Yeah, yeah, I'll save. When I say epic music, I say... And, and I, excuse me, and I say go, I mean go! Well, I still would have to wait for this loading screen to break up the drama, but yeah, whatever. So, here we go! And, of course, it's gonna be another auto-scroll segment. We've got some wheels this time, and oh, I didn't mean to grab that, but I guess I could use it to get some star coins in this one. You know, to free some enemies if I need to. But I'm not gonna abuse it, because I don't want to block my way or anything like that, so... Rocky wrenches! Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, you can kill them just by jumping on their head when they pop it out. Um... They also gotta look out for their wrenches, obviously. Uh, back in the Super Mario Brothers 3 days, I used to think that they threw bones. Like, it looked like they had they were throwing white bones, because they didn't look like wrenches at all to me. So that's why I thought they threw bones. <laughs> uh, but I was luckily corrected by someone long ago. I don't remember actually who, but yeah, they throw wrenches. And that's also where I heard the name Rocky Wrench from, too know the name prior to that, so, yeah. You'll notice that the first star coin was there, and I almost died there due to my own carelessness. That would have been delightful. Ooh, pipe. I bet you there's a secret. Yeah, if there's a pipe blocked by boxes, you know there's gonna be a secret. Come on, man. Okay, so now we've got some wheels for some reason that don't seem to serve any purpose. Maybe they forgot to pull up their landing gear or something. This certainly seems like the thing that could be used for landing gear. <clears throat> and here's a coin that you absolutely couldn't miss, even if, I mean, if you went down this path. Because you have to have that, that jump height to even get across there. So you'll automatically collect that coin. They should have put it a little bit lower to make it trickier. At least I think so. There's a halfway point. 
the stage is going really easily. So, I hope the last coin will go well. I really hope it's gonna go well. I'm pretty sure the last coin is pretty tricky. Um, at least from what I remember. Six, seven, eight. What do I get? What do I get? A one up? Did I really need that? Did I really need that? Come on. You know, you would think that the later the level gets, I should say, the further in the game you get, the, you know, more, the less lives would become frequent and the difficulty would be increased. But those coins came to me so easily and I got lives all over the place. Well, just that one life. But you get what I mean. This is not hard at all. Especially if you're experienced in platforms. <laughs> Look at that one, he's just like trying to fight against the, the treadmill that is the wheel. Yeah, they these kind of remind me of treadmill physics because of the way that they push you forward or push you back or you, know, you get the idea because you know the surface that you're on is moving. But, but they're not actually treadmills. I, I always call something that's moving like a treadmill or something like that or an escalator. So that's kind of like a, that's a new thing for me, so to speak. To, I mean, they don't really... They don't really have any official names for them. They're just like rotating wheels, and that sounds kind of generic, so I've always referred to them as like a treadmill like object or something like that, or you get the idea, I'm just babbling on. And there's Bowser Jr. in his clown car, or I should say a smaller clown car, damaged of course, and you're supposed to get into this one, and you can control it like that by shaking the Wii Remote, and you're also free to hit him in midair. Uh, and you're- ah! The object is to hit him into those electric fields there. And this clown car has definitely seen better days since, you know, the last time that I've, uh, uh been across with them. You, you see that there's burn marks and stuff like that on it. It's kind of silly. Oh, no, 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 I missed them completely there on my attack. And there we go. One more hit, and he's done. This is not hard at all. In fact, it's easier than the first boss fight, despite it being something pretty new. Uh, I've never seen a fight like this in the Mario universe, um, so, hey, 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 no, 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 he's getting a lot more aggressive, a lot more aggressive, I'm dodging you, and I'm gonna hit you, yeah, it's over, sorry, Bowser Jr., but you failed, and that's also the end of this part, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one, oh, um, I, I guess I should probably show off, you know, the little cutscene to the next level, we're going into Sky World, Whoa! You sneaky snake having a false floor, you're not allowed to do that. What's neat is that the mountains lead all the way up to the sky, sky world. See that? It, it transitioned from mountain peaks over to clouds, and then you just just leads you right over to here. That's pretty neat, I have to say, you know, in terms of world continuity. And there's Ludwig! The one with the most bushy hair in all the koopa -dum. Yeah, I made up another word. <laughs> so, I'm going to end it off here. I think this is a good time to end it. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.